um, I heard about 15 to 20 shots and so I went outside and my neighbors were screaming that my parents um, had been shot. My mom was dead the moment that she was shot and my dad still had a pulse when um, when I got to him but by the time that um, I got downstairs um, police were already um, getting ready to go in and because they um, need to clear the scene before they let EMS in. Um, my, I'm sure my dad passed away shortly after. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV news. Hello, I'm LRJ from LRJ TV. Um, you know what? I might as well just move to Florida with this show because every day I'm reporting some news or some shooting in Florida. Uh, let's go. For more than eight hours, a gunman turned this neighborhood into a near war zone. Those flashes, police exchanging fire with a gunman, finally killing him after he shot six people in this building. There's a hostage mobile, can we get him out? And look there, on the balcony, you see officers clearing the scene after five hours of a cat and mouse chase with a man police identify as Pedro Vargas. At about 6.30 p.m., Pedro Vargas, 43-year-old tenant of this building, attempted and succeeded in lighting his apartment number 408 I'm being told on fire the building managers Mr. Italo Peschiotti and his wife Camila Peschiotti ran towards the apartment where they noticed smoke was coming out of he came out the door Mr. Vargas and shot both of them several times killing them right at the scene he then ran back into his burning apartment, walked out onto his fourth story balcony and proceeded to fire possibly 10 to 20 shots into the street. Our main objective at that point was to neutralize an active shooter. And we tried and tried engaging him at first in the hallway and he kept running from us as he fired at us and we fired at him. The shooting spree began at 6.30 Friday evening, the gunman setting fire to his own apartment. His landlords, alarmed, ran to help, Vargas killing them on sight, spraying more than a dozen bullets. Then shooting from his own fourth floor balcony across the street, killing another man. Moments later, running to the third floor, he kicks down the door to another apartment, killing two parents and their 17-year-old daughter. After hours of a gun battle with police, Vargas races to the fifth floor, taking two hostages. Three hours later, SWAT teams burst in, shooting him dead, but saving the hostages. David, police are telling us there is an enormous volume of evidence here. It may take them days to get through it. There are four shooting scenes in that building alone. There are dozens of bullet casings and shots fired. And of course, the biggest question is, what motivated Pedro Vargas to go on that shooting spree? They're not sure why he did what he did. I don't either, but maybe it could be. The rent is too damn high. Yeah, maybe the rent is too damn high. I don't know about y'all, but I need to give me some guns, for real. And guns don't kill people. Shit. I'm going to a gun store, and I'm going to give me a 500-round gun, because, see, that is the American way. I don't know what's going to happen. When I leave my gated community, and I drive, and all the gas stations and the stores, the mini marts, I'm like, damn, is this Afghanistan or something? I got to have my 500 rounds so I can protect myself. Because, you know, the first 10 rounds don't do nothing. You know, they just put holes in your body. You, you want to have 500. So when you get through shooting them up, they just, you know. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Rate, comment, and subscribe. Because you, be glad you did. I love you all. Peace.